Welcome back. This is Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions. Further Solutions Academy. Encourage us more. Help us to share our video and also subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Please help us to share and subscribe to our channel. After you, when you enter, you enter, you see a subscribe button. Just press on the subscribe, please. Help us to press on that subscribe. It's very, very important. And help us to share it. Uh, this is ordinary first order differential equation. I'm now on the method now. I want to show the method, which is the first method is variable separable. This is part two of what ordinary differential equation. Now, the outline of this video, the first one is definition of variable separable and the problem on it. How do I know? How do I get the problem? How do I solve the problem on it? Now, this, at the end of this video, you should be able to understand all this. If you do not get it, review and review and read. If there is any problem, drop your comment and it's going to be attentive. Now, if I'm talking about variable separable, now, if I'm talking about variable separable, if I'm having a P of Y of X, D, X, plus Q of X, Y, D, Y equals to, equals to zero, equals to zero. Now, it's said to be variable separable. I can use my variable separable. If and only if this holds, which I'll be having P of X, Y, D, X, equals to minus q p of y the x the y now i can only achieve my variable separable if my words d y all by the x equals to what um p minus p of what p of x y all about what q of what x y that is my variable separable. Now, this is the definition of it. Since I have this type of problem, operation, I can reduce to this, I can use my word method one, which is called variable separable. Now, let me bring out some problem. I want to solve problem on it. Okay, for instance, I have a problem like this. I have um solve the variable solve solve the O D O D which is first order first order sorry to be first to be first order O D E now I want to solve this I have um okay I have one plus x squared bracket of dx uh, equals to minus x y dy I mean the yes uh the x, this is going to be the y. Let me do that. Yes, I don't know how to do like this. Now, I want to solve this sort of problem solution. So, it take a lot of space. Let me cut the board. Now, if I have this type of problem, the first thing I will do, I want to achieve that, is that what? I will have what? Um, I will be having, okay, x on one part, y on one part. If that is achievable, it means I'm okay. Now, what am I going to do here? I will divide all, I have 1 plus x squared, bracket of 1 dy, equals to what? Minus x y dx. Now, if I should divide both sides by what? Now, I will divide all by, I'll be having y equals to what? Minus x y, all by what? Um, 1 plus x squared, bracket of what? dx. Now, if I have something like this, it means multiply both sides by what? One all over it means I'll be having one all over y uh, dy equals to what minus x all over what one plus x squared dx. Now, since I have something like this, y on one part, x on one part, that is my variable separable in hold. It will what it will surely hold. But if it is not like that, I cannot use my variable variable uh, separable. Now that is why now knowledge of integration is needed here now because i'm looking for what 
something like equation. Now, how do I do? I will integrate and what I will integrate. If I should integrate, I'll be having, please make sure you build that integration, integration to integration integration. It will be having what? Lean y equals to. Now, if I differentiate this, I will have this. Okay. If I differentiate this, I will have this. How do I do? I will be, if I differentiate this, I will have 2x. It means uh, I will just do that. Uh, mm, okay, there are many ways. I can say that what? Um, differentiate this, I will have 2. Okay, let me just see. Let me just move on to u equals to 1 plus x squared. Avoid. It means the u equals to what? 2x x. It means my dx equals to what? Equals to um, the u all over 2x. It means I will now be saying that what? What I want to do minus integral of what? x all over what? u du all over 2x. That's what I'm trying to say there, which I will be having. Uh, um, 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 I'll be having lean. Whatever you differentiate that, we have to explain that my free in our uh, this thing. I'll be having lean y equals to this now. I'll be having um two, it means one all over two. I'll be having one all over two now. Okay, that is my two. I'll be having one minus one over two. Um one all over u du, which is I'll be having lean y equals to what minus one over two lean u plus what lean k. It's a constant. My lean k does not mean there's any crisis there. Now it means I'll be having lean y equals to what um minus one over two lean what? What is my u? This is my u. I'll be having y plus x squared. Plus what lean k. Lean k. Now I can answer what lean y equals to um lean bracket of one plus x squared or bracket of minus one over two plus what lean k. Now plus lean k. Now since I have that, since I have that, I can now say that what my lean k lean y equals to um lean brackets open i mean that is law of logarithm i'll be having um k bracket of one plus x squared bracket of minus one over k which is since my lean is equal to lean i can say what since lean is equal to lean i can y equals to what k bracket of one plus x squared bracket of one over two minus which in terms of indices my y equals to what um, k all over what? Root of 1 plus x squared. 1 plus x squared. Sorry, this is x squared. Now, since I have that, I can also have my k because I need my k to generate it to be what? y bracket of what? Root of what? 1 plus x k. That is my y. That is my value. Now, if I don't have a possible value, I can now put those values and what? And, and go. Okay, that is my variable separable. Now, let me give another example on this variable separable. Make sure you view. And when I go and fill this, make sure you get it right. They are very, very useful to learn. Mathematics is good. It can inspire. Why am I showing mathematics? To inspire people to, uh, to apply to real life situation. Okay, and so on and so forth. Now, if I have this type of problem, example number two. Okay, I have two. I have the y equals to what? Y the x equals to what? Two y minus one all over what? X plus two. At um, 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 x equals to zero. Y equals to what? Uh, y equals to y equals to one. Let me just put uh, y equals to two or one. Let me just put one there. I don't have one. One. Now find your weight. We are looking for a key. My key. I'm looking for key. Now, this is a very powerful nice question that something can be very, very good. Number one, I can add that, I can have S1 part, I can have Y1 part. Very good. If it's not possible, you have to move on to another method. There are many methods. This is the first method. Now, if I should solve this problem now, I'll be having 
um, solution to this problem, I have to cut the board into two more. Okay? And we have something like this. We need to cut it because it will take a lot of space. Okay? Now, I will cut it into many sheets like this. Now, if I have this sort of problem, it means, okay, how do I go here? I have this type of problem. Now, okay, I have something like this solution. The first thing I will do is that uh, I will have my dy the x equals to what? 2y minus 1 all over x plus 2. Now, I can say that what? My dy all over what? 2y minus 1 equals to what? My dx all over what? x plus 2. Now, it means I passed one, one, one part, my one side. Now, since I have this, it means I can integrate at this point. I can easily integrate. If I should integrate, I will differentiate this, I will have two. It means, um, okay, let me just make it so simple. U equals to what? 2u5 plus 1. Now, minus 1, right? Now, the u, it will be equals to what? 2dy. It means my dy, it will be equals to the u all over 2. Now, it means this one now, I'll be having what? Um, um, 1, which I'll be having integral of what? du, 1 all over what? u, du all over 2 equals to what? This one will be, if I differentiate this, I'll be having 1 lin s plus 2 plus what? lin k. That is very, very important. Now, if I have this, I'll be having what? 1 all over 2 lin what? u. Which equals to what? Um, which is equals to what? Lin s plus 2 plus lin k. Now, since I have this, I have this, what is my 1 all over 2 lin, what is my u? Which is going to be 2y minus 1 bracket equals to what? Lin k bracket of x plus 2. I'm using law of logarithm. Now, since I have this, which I can say that what? My lean 2y minus 1 bracket of what? 1 all over 2 equals to what? Lean k x plus 2 and uh, close bracket. Now, since I have this, since I have this, I can say that what? This lean and this lean are equal. It means I'll be having 2y plus minus 1 bracket of what? 1 all over 2 equals to what? Uh, k x plus 2 k x plus 2 since i have this since i have this i cannot say that what um what can i do next it means uh okay if i decide to multiply all by what by 2 by 2 both side by 2 there will be any crisis it means i'm having 2y minus 1 equals to what k squared uh bracket of what uh x plus 2 all squared. Now, which is, I'll be having something like this. Since I have this, I can say that what? My y, 2y equals to what? Uh, k bracket of what? x plus 2 plus 1. Now, my k square, k square can be here. Because to, if I have k squared, it can give me k. Or it can give me any letter. It means the number will change. Is a number I don't know. I can say that 2y equals to what? A bracket of what this is square. I'll be having a power. X plus 2 all squared plus 1. Divide all through by 1. It to be what? A bracket of X plus 2 all over 2 squared plus 1 all over 2. Now, since I have this, now at this, my X equals to 0 and what? Y equals to what? One. It means I do one equals to what? Everything that is here in the call, this is going to be zero. It will be um two square will be a bracket of two squared. Yes, yes, s is zero and one, which is all over what two plus what one all over two. This will cancel this, which I'll be having um one equals to what two a plus one all over two. If I decide to multiply all through by 2, 
which I'll be having um, 2 to 2 all through. I'll be having 2 equals to 4e equals to n plus 1. Sorry, plus 1. Now, since I have that, I can say that what? My 4e equals to 2 minus 1, which is my a equals to what? 1 all over 4. My a is equals to 1 all over 4. It means I don't have a problem. Since my a is equals to 1 over 4, I can generate any form of what? Solution. Okay, that is all about that. Now, uh, let me give another problem. Let me draw another problem. Now, um, okay, it perfect. I have another problem this way. I should suppose the last. I think I just put another one more. Now, um, but but two. Now, if I have this problem this way, I have um um, um I have dy x minus dy equals to y squared dx plus x squared dy. Now, I want to solve this problem. I want to solve this problem. I want to obtain this problem. Solution. Now, I have this. I have this. I can say that what? My x and my y. Which I can say that what? dx minus dy equals to what? D y dx plus s y. Now, I will have to divide this because I'm running far here. Now, I want to collect like times. If I want to collect like times, I'll be having, um, I'll be having, um, the first thing is what? Dx and what? Minus, minus y squared dx equals to x squared dy plus dy. Now, which I'll be having x minus, okay, I'll be having 1 minus y squared bracket of dx equals to what? x squared plus 1 bracket of what? dy. Yes. Now, since I have this, this is x, this is y, this is x, this is y. It means there must be on one side. I can say that what? Um, okay. It means, I can answer that what? dx all over what? x squared plus 1 equals to what dy all over what one minus y squared that is very very much i've achieved what i want to what achieve now how do i differentiate that is where uh integrate now let me arrange properly the um equals to what one uh, equals to what ds all over what? x squared plus one now i want to integrate i want to integrate if I should integrate this one, okay, this one will give me problem. This one will give me what? Problem. Okay, I can express this rubbish, this particular one, as a different of what? One square. As a different of two square. As a different of two square. Which I'll be having integral of what? Um, 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 one divided by one minus four x and one plus y or close bracket of what? D what? Dy equals to what? Integral of what? The x all over what? x squared plus 1. That is very, very important. Now, I can run through partial fraction here. I can run through my what? My partial fraction. If I should work on my partial fraction, it means my b me. Okay, let me quickly run through partial fraction. a all over what? 1 minus y plus what? b all over what? 1 plus y. Okay. Which is equals to one all over what one minus y squared. Now, if I should do those something like this, I'll be having a bracket of one plus y, b bracket of one minus y equals to one. Now, if I should have something like this, I'll be having my a. My a, if you have to solve it properly, if equals to one, if it is equals to one, I'll be having zero here. This one will be what two. 2a equals to it means my a will be what one all over two. If it is equals to um um uh, mama, yes, if it is equals to one, yes, if it is uh, equals to one a again, if it is equals to plus one, okay, minus one, 
it means I'll be having minus minus. It will be having what? Uh, B, 2B equals to what? 1. It means my B to be what? 1. B equals to 1 all over 2. Now, I'm running on partial fraction. We have done all this some time ago. Okay, you can view the channel, which is going to be of help to. Now, I cannot come back to here, which is partial fraction. Now, let's just look. 1 all over 1, 2 bracket of 1, 1 minus y plus 1, 1 integral of 1. This is going to be dy. Um, 1 all over 2 bracket of 1 plus y dy equals to what? Um, equals to integral of 1 dx all over what? x squared plus 1. Now, at this point, I'll be having what? 1 all over 2 lean lean what lean 1 minus y plus 1 all over 2 lean 1 plus y equals 2 now if i should integrate something like this we have done it again this is a square this is a square and some is attaching them it means it will be what tan tan act tan of what of x act tan of what of x plus what k act tan of, uh, of x plus k now since i have that okay this i have that i have problem here which is i'll be having i can say a one all over two bracket of what lean one minus y plus one lean one plus y equals to what tan inverse of what x plus k now, I cannot use my YouTube idea about it, which is I'll be having 1 all over 2, 1 all over 2, okay, 1 all over 2, which is, uh, what is attaching then is what is addition, operation plus. Is there any minus here that time? Okay, when we run through the partial fraction. Okay, that is just. I made mistakes somewhere. I didn't obey the rules of what integration here. There's a mistake. Uh, if I should do something like this, it will be 2 minus, sorry. It be 2 minus, sorry. I'm very sorry for that. Now, if I should factor out now, it will be what? Minus 1 over 2. It will be bracket of lean 1 plus y minus what? Lean. Lean, sorry. Lean. Um, 1 plus, which is very correct, yes, equals to tan inverse of x plus k. Now, yes, that is how it's going to be. Because of what minus is here, this minus, when I differentiate, I think we have done something like that. I didn't look at the stuff there. Now, if, if I have this, I can say that what 1 all over 2 minus um, lean, which is going to be what? 1 minus y, all over what? 1 plus y equals to what tan inverse of what x plus k now which i will say that what lean one minus y all over what one plus y all bracket close one all over two equals to what tan minus of x plus k now since i have this since i have this let me try to now it means i'll be having um, my tan, my tan inverse. Now, how do I work on my tan inverse? It means I'll be having lean of this. Yeah, what can I do? I don't have anything to do than to have my what? To 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 leave. You can leave the answer like this. I leave it like this. Or you say that what? Your k equals to uh, my lean one minus all over what one plus all close bracket one all over two. Um, um minus tan tan inverse act tan of x that is my which is minus that is my final answer and stop like this that is my final answer now that is my final answer but before we go let me try to put more light on the one of tan if i have a problem like this cos another question like this i have cos um square x d y all over the x equals to y plus k you can also do something like this it's possible which i'll be having um cos x dy equals to what 
y plus 3 or bracket of what we get. Now, I can ask that what are in that dy all over what y plus 3 equals to what um, the x all over what cos square, which I can say that what integral of the two, I can return this one to what um, ln y plus 3 uh, equals to this one. You, I can say that integral of what cos sec square x dx. Now, if I differentiate my set square, I mean, integrate my set square, I'll be having y3. This one can come out in any exam, which is I'll be having tan x plus what? Plus what? k. Which is my k can now be equals to tan x minus what? Lean y plus 3 or bracket. This is 3. That is my final answer. That is my final answer. Something like this can come out as an objective question in any given exam. Now, before we close, this is Further Solutions Academy. This is Further Solutions Academy. Further. Further. Solutions Academy. Encourage us more. Help us to share our video and also subscribe to our channel. Help us to share. Anytime you view and there is you see a subscribe button here just click on it subscribe please help us to do that all the time if you are not help us to click on the button just click on it and what it will take you and share it to your friends let people know it this channel any topic that has parts make sure you start from part one thanks for watching